Okay, well, welcome to Flying Bucket Studio. As you can see, we got guitars here. We got uh, drum up over here. We're all recording with Jim. It's great because he's um he's in the other room. I don't even see him half the time, so it's actually going really well. Uh, if I if we just stay clear of each other, things are straight and narrow, baby, straight and narrow. And I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna record the bass. Come on, let's go in here. Okay, well, no, they said I'm gonna record a bass in here. Uh, this is probably not what they meant. Okay, I mean. So, uh, that was the wrong room. This is the right room. This is where I'm gonna be uh, playing bass, and it's gonna be. Uh, uh, is it good? Is it good? Nice. Hey, um, don't worry about that. I got you covered, bro. Uh, it's good, it sounds good. I mean, it sounds better than probably what you could have. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so far, so good. Well, it's interesting because they, when they got here, first of all, they all got here at different times, which is pretty weird. You know, um, I guess uh, Jimmy showed up first, but he showed up like three hours late. And then, um, and then, Dave showed up at like three o'clock or something like that, and then um, Bobby. I don't even. I don't even think he was here the first day at all. I don't think he bothered to show up the first day at all. Bob Hope, I like that guy. Like we sit around and talk about what were we talking about yesterday? Indiana Jones and and glasses for hours while recording, of course. Uh, while he's doing his edits. First off, great name. Great name. Bob. Mm. Sounds good. I think we basically based off our entire opinion of recording here on that name alone. So it's good. Actually, his skills, I have no idea how good really he is, but I like the name, so. It's pretty good, recording with that guy. Uh, from what I hear, he's got the same name as Bobby. And, um, Bobby likes that a lot. The record? Time's going. <laughs> <laughs> Recording with Dave. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. This is good actually. It's really good. Do I practice my drum? Is this one minute count? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Next question. Do I practice? Do I practice? No. Hell no. In fact, the only time I practiced for this album is when we wrote the song. And that was it. That's all you need. If you need to practice after that, you suck. It, it, you, they say if you can get it right once in the studio, you're good. If you can get it right once, you write it, and never play it again, then you're good. That's what I think. Well, what do you do when you're working with artists like that, you know? Who look like, I mean, they, like I said, leather jack, they kind of look like thugs. So you can't really argue with them, you know? It's not worth, you know, getting beat up over or losing, you know, I, I don't. What's so important about a leather jacket? It smells good, it feels good, it looks good. What else would, 
What else can you ask for? <laughs> let me let me show you what's special. Okay, here I am. I'm awesome. Now watch it. That's rock and roll. <laughs> it just doesn't. It just changes everything. You know, if you didn't have a leather jacket. That's it. My favorite part of recording. Uh, probably the guitar. Uh, listening to it back there. We had a rule that the songs all had to be about cute animals, but the animals couldn't be more than like two feet in, in, in stature, you know, so had to be, we could write about like puppies, but not about full-size dogs. And we could write about, um, you know, uh, like baby deer, but the deers couldn't be, they couldn't be above two feet. So. Anyway, so it'll be cute. I think Calvary's fans will uh, be interested in how we've really taken a turn for the you know, to write about the gentle creatures. Although it was sad that Bobby changed all the lyrics to be about killing all the gentle creatures, which was kind of depressing. But at least we managed to get some gentle creatures in there, so. What inspires me? Love, man. No. <laughs> love of pop culture, love of music, just love people. Love. What should our fans expect? I think they'll, I think if they like love, then they'll like the record. <laughs> they should expect this, they would buy it. The shot a load of rock right in the face. <laughs> Bobby's telling me they should expect a uh, face full of rock. <laughs> this, they buy it. This, they buy it. I'm not sure what that means, but he uh, he makes this like grunting noise when he says it, so I, it's got to be like really cool. Um, otherwise, he wouldn't be that excited. No, um, probably a subpar record. I'd probably say. I this one. Remember when I said how we didn't really practice? This it's probably gonna show a lot of this record. <laughs> Fans should expect this new album. A new feel. A lot of auto tunes, a lot of overdubs. The last couple albums. They're great. Yeah. I like them. This one. Did you see? Did you see the album cover? Oh my goodness. And, and it's natural. Man. It's gonna sound like a techno record at the end, so. It is what it is, I guess. I mean, this is, this is what $20,000 gets you, so. My favorite part recording? Nailing every song. Uh, one or two takes. Okay, now zoom in on this. This right here? This is a drum machine. It's true. True story. That's the secret. That's how we get the sound. But shh, just me and you. <sighs> Topic of debate, my hair. I know, I know. What I like to do, this is what I like to do. If you say you don't Google yourself, then you're f***ing it. Because I do it on a daily basis. And when someone says, I like your hair short, I say, f*** you, I'm going to grow it long. So I grow it long. And now people are saying, it's long, and they don't like it, I'm just going to keep it long now. <laughs> so, there is no theory behind it. Um, yeah, I just like to mix it up, man. I'm the Madonna, you know, I'm Madonna of the group. You know, I... I I do feel something, something wrong here at this, this studio. There's, there's something dark and oppressing here. You hear weird noises, and I mean, I know this is an old place. It's it's foreboding, and evil, some sort of ancient evil. I can feel in the woodwork. Yeah, I, I feel something weird. This is original 19, I, I don't know, 19 something. Uh, location and, and I could feel that there was some evil presence 
that is seeping through the woodwork. It feels good, but it feels weird. I don't know if there's the band before us or the band after us. It's just weird in here. I don't know, it's creepy. It's not just Bobby coming out of the bathroom. I think there's something a lot evil over here. There's something weird going on. I don't know what's going on. There's something weird going on. So yeah, I would. If you want to know where it all started falling apart, the ham, the ham's where where it started. Recording's going good. We got all the songs done. So it's just it's playtime right now, baby. We just gotta screw around until we're done. <laughs> Suck it! Suck it! <laughs> We have a little contest. You might have sent us this, uh, a uh, title, but uh, we didn't pick it because uh, we picked Eric Blair's title, Dago's Necros. Oh no, it's Dago Necros. It sounded like Dago, which I hear it's a very well endearing term for Italians like ourselves, but um, so that's why we picked it. It's, it's reminded of ourselves. But actually, it also reminded us of the 1970s bad acid trip with vampires. So, you know, you can't go wrong with that kind of For those who are trying to rock, it's good to me. You just do it, man. Just pick it up, the guitar, and just rock. And then, right. And that's it, baby. Pop this, so you can get your arms up. Right. Rock it, baby. Are we dead? Oh, no. no. Ah! Oh. 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 Record keeper. It's all that's important. <laughs> Hey, this is Bobby Kellebrees from the band Kellebrees. Make sure to check out all our other kick-ass rock and roll videos. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And of course, buy some Kellebrees merchandise to become part of the Kellebrees cult. Rock and roll, baby.